The dry period comes in two parts. The first one is the dry season. And uh, the second part of it is the drought, the dry season. Now, dry season uh, happens within the tropical belt that is closer to the equator. What happens is that annually, the air from the north or the tropics moves down south. And then it comes back again up. When this happens, it causes a period of dry within the year. And the term of this period is quite short in a year. A drought is a period almost a year or much longer than a year. And the drought, the effects of the drought are persistent for a long time. And the effects are felt at large. While the dry season is only for a shorter period of time. It could be up to a month, two or three, but less than three months. So it is within a shorter period of time and it's a weather condition in a particular spot at a time. Does not affect a wider range or a country. But for a drought, it's a wide, it, it is wide affecting a larger area. The dry season is only short meaning that it only affects only the first top layer of the soil, around 30 uh, centimeters or uh, 300 mils. While the drought is quite extensive and it affects a much wider area and it dries out all the smaller water sources and dries out the water vapor in the atmosphere evaporates all the water system and uh, generally affects the soil in a much larger way and killing even plants in a drought. While a small dry season uh, is only in the top layer of the soil, other fruits and vegetables that have much deeper root, they still survive the dry season. But for a drought, Nothing survives because of the extended period of dry. The effects of uh, the dry season are very basic, uh, meaning that the food crops that uh, send uh, roots only to the top layer of the soil, they are affected. While anything below uh, 500 mil still remains alive because of the water content underneath, the water table and the water content underneath. So we are comfortable with that. But when it comes to uh, the drought, uh, the air is dried up for a long time, uh, very basically sucking out all the water vapor that is inside the soil. And when that happens, it affects the root system for both food crops, fruits, nuts, vegetables, and also the tree crops that grow because of the uh, extension uh, of the, uh, uh, the heat system that is generated downwards and inwards into the soil uh, system. This is why we are running uh, this awareness or why we are uh, discussing this is because it is now becoming prevalent in PNG, those two conditions. And it's expanding now. Unlike in the past, it was much shorter. Example for dry seasons were only up to a month. But now it is extending to two months. And then this year, 
we don't know. It may extend to three months. But for the drought, it's a prolonged system. And so with the drought prolonging, we are sure to lose all the plants. So the difference between both of them is that they do the same damage and they both affect the soil and food production systems. But it is the period and the survivability of the plants is where the difference is. But now it seems to, the dry season seems to be expanding and expanding, going beyond one month. And this is where uh, PNG has not been used to this system. And that is why we are trying to get our farmers and growers to understand that the changes happening are for real and these changes are here to stay with us and that we need to know how to manage these two systems. That's the most important thing. And farmers in PNG have not changed their practices yet. That is why we want to use this opportunity to teach them and to show them that this is what is happening now. And when you see this happening, you also know how to handle your situation. When we eat a longer period of dry season and drought, we need to we need to adopt and change our pattern of farming. We need to allow inputs into our farming system. We need to change this practice. And one of the practices that is captured around the world is by uh, using irrigation systems. And irrigation helps uh, plants to grow and also survivability of the plants to get nutrients on the surface and both below the surface from underground sources. And that is where we need it. I would conclude that farmers need to become aware of the impacts of the environment. And when you become aware, you need to adjust and prepare yourself. How do you prepare yourself? You need to farm closer to water sources. That's number one. You need to farm on soils that are more lower so that they have water uh, underground and that will cool the plants up so that the plants can be able to survive. If you are running a farm on a commercial basis, you are recommended to incorporate an irrigation system into your farm. In that way, you do not lose your crop. It also allows you to continue farming during dry season because of the continuous availability of water through an irrigation system. Mm -hmm.